Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us start the second unit in cloud computing, guys. So the first topic in second unit is about scaling, guys. Okay. So I think in unit one, I told multiple times about scaling, right? So now you are 100% familiar with the word, right? Yes. So anyway, we'll be discussing about it, guys. So basically, scaling is of three types, which is a horizontal scaling, vertical scaling, and auto scaling. So we'll be discussing about horizontal and vertical in this lecture, and in the next lecture, let us discuss about auto scaling, guys. Okay. Yes. So let us start with what is scaling first of all. Okay. So assume that you want to upgrade your system, guys. Okay, so you took some cloud computing service. Okay, so assume that you took AWS. Okay, and you selected 16 GB RAM when you created it, and some 1 TB storage. And now you want to increase this 16 GB to 32 GB RAM and 2 TB hard disk. So at this time, you are scaling it up, right? You are increasing your capacities. So this concept is a scaling up. Similarly, if you are doing the reverse process, this is called as a scaling down, guys. Okay, yes. So this concept is scaling. So scaling from an IT resource perspective represents the ability the IT resources to handle increase or decrease the user usage demand the following are of two types so basically we are having two different types that is nothing but horizontal scaling vertical scaling and auto scaling okay so firstly okay sorry for that guys let us continue okay so now you got some basic idea about scaling right okay so we are having three different types guys the first one is horizontal vertical auto so now let us discuss about horizontal and vertical okay yes so horizontal scaling so firstly i'll be going through the concept guys after that we'll be going through the theory because uh, it will be easy right yes so horizontal scaling remember guys so assume that you are having a system a with 8 gb ram okay and 1 tb hard disk space okay and now you want to upgrade your system so now what you will do is after upgradation you will keep your first system guys you are not going to remove it or you are not going to throw it away so you are not you will just add one more system to fulfill your requirement so that is b so again assume you want 16 gb and 1 tb hard disk so now what is your total that is nothing but 16 gb of ram and 2 tb hard disk is achieved right so by using those two systems right yes so in this way if you are moving and you are keeping your old system with you and just adding a new system to it this concept is horizontal scaling guys okay so now let us go through the theory after that we'll be moving on to advantages and disadvantages also so don't worry the allocated or re, re uh, releasing of it resources that are of a same type is referred to horizontal scaling guys the terminology is in that way only in the textbook also so that's the reason why i use the same terminology okay the horizontal allocation of resources is referred to as a scaling out and horizontally releasing the net okay horizontally releasing of resources is referred as a scaling in horizontal scaling is common for scaling within okay yes so the terminology is a too odd guys so that is the reason why i gave you in terms of my way of explanation so basically you will just uh, add some more system guys so basically with your virtual system you will add one more virtual system and this whole system will be your original system so in that way you will upgrade so the initially you are having only a as a system now on demand you increased it so a and b you combined two systems again on demand you want to increase it and you combined one more system that is c so abc is now formed so in that way okay yes so the major advantages of this horizontal scaling is low cost when okay so let us go through vertical also after that we'll be going through advantages and standards. at that time it will be clear for you like why i am saying it is good it is bad in that way okay yes so let us continue with virtual vertical scaling also so instead of upgrading adding your system to another system okay so assume that your current system is 8 gb ram 1 tb storage now assume that your goal is to reach 16 gb and 2 tb ram instead of using this same system you will just buy one more system guys which is having that configuration so you are just abandoning the old system and you are buying a new system as per your requirement so this concept is called as a vertical guys okay yes so when an existing it resource is replaced by another so basically here you are replacing with another higher or lower capacity that is considered as vertical scaling okay okay so especially replacing of an it resource with another that has a higher capacity is referred to an it resource okay so with another that has a higher capacity is referred to scaling up so basically here we are going to scale up right yes so if you are reducing its speed or size 
or space that is called as a scaling down guys okay yes so basically you can write in this so basically previously you are having two gpu system now you converted into four cpu system like that so basically you are upgrading things so that comes under the vertical so the main thing that you should remember is so previously you are having system a and now you are having system b there is no you are not having system a again right you are just buying a new system in simple words whereas in the horizontal you will keep the old system and buy the parts which you require that's the concept okay yes so now let us go through the differences guys so now you'll be getting a clear idea with respect to differences so the major advantage of horizontal scaling is a low cost when compared with vertical scaling so basically in vertical scaling you are not using the previous system you are directly buying the new system right which is not at all a good idea guys if you ask me even i will be saying that that's not a good idea right yes so that is a major advantage in horizontal scaling because we are not going to waste money by buying systems okay similarly easier to run fault tolerance so basically fault tolerance or any kind of issues can be identified easily similarly ability to scale out as much as possible so basically in horizontal if you want to increase even 100 mb or 1 gb of data you can just buy a hard drive or something and you can just fix it you can connect it right in that way you can scale up scale it up right yes so that is the major advantage whereas if you want to do that in vertical scaling you will be buying the, you will be selling this whole system and you will buy the new system right so so that is a disadvantage you can say similarly high availability will be there for horizontal scaling but there are disadvantages in horizontal scaling also so the disadvantage is a high usage of electricity so previous if you buy a new system you are you are required to run only one system but whenever you are using horizontal scaling as you scale up you are going to increase one count of a system right so basically each and every system increases the power consumption of the systems will also increase right so the electric electricity bill will be high okay so the one more disadvantage is software has a has to handle all the data distributed and parallel processing complexity so basically here we are having multiple parts right so basically 8 gb is in this 8 gb in this this 8 gb in this so whenever a particular process of 16 gb or 24 gb comes it should be divided equally among them and the results should be combined and this sounds also a bit complex right so that is also a disadvantage in horizontal scaling right yes so let us now continue with advantages and disadvantages in vertical scaling. So the major advantage in vertical scaling is the softwares and everything will run really smoothly. Power consumption is really low and installation and management is really easy guys. Okay. And the disadvantage is you need to spend a lot of money guys in simple words you can say. Okay. Similarly, greater risk of hardware failure. So assume that in this system, okay, in these kind of systems, so one system fails the rest of two systems can manage right whereas here in vertical we are we will be ending up with only a single system right yes so if that system is damaged indirectly we are go, our server will be down right simply right yes okay yes similarly vendor lock-in and a limited uh, upgradation futures yes because even if you want to upgrade small small things also you need to wait so that is a disadvantage similarly low availability so these are some uh, uh, disadvantages in vertical scaling guys okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so let me revise it once again so in horizontal scaling you will keep your old system guys so you are not going to sell or you are not going to throw away your old system so that is the concept in horizontal scaling whereas in vertical scaling you will just buy a new system based on your requirement so here we will be having a again here we will not have a, a we will be having directly a new system so this concept is nothing but about vertical and horizontal scaling. In the next lecture, let us discuss about auto scaling guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.